Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy here and this is my yarn of the week. Now, as you can see, I don't have a great deal of colours left in this yarn. It is pretty special yarn. It's beautiful to work with. It is called King Coal Fjord and it was one of my very, very best sellers last year when it was uh, first out and I have some absolutely gorgeous colours. Now, it's a yarn that I put in a lot of uh, mystery boxes um, to introduce it to people. And from there, the people who got it have, have given me feedback saying, it's not a yarn I would have gone out my way to purchase, but now I've got it, it's gorgeous. And, um, and they ordered more. So it feels, honestly, like a really mega soft cotton. It is absolutely beautiful to feel really is and this one the green one is called tice and it's a hundred grams as you can see now it is um a hundred percent anti-pilling acrylic so that's brilliant news no bobbling approximately 273 yards or 250 meters and there are the washing instructions which um if you're anything like me you have no idea what the symbols mean. I know that obviously if there's a cross on it, you can't iron it. You probably can't tumble dry it. I don't know. Is that a tumble dryer? I don't know. 40 degree wash anyway. That's obvious, but you know, <laughs> that's as good as I get. So you get a fair isle effect, a self patterning fair isle kind of effect. Now obviously that is with it being knitted. So obviously the smaller the stitch, the more feral the pattern. And this is the green one, as I said, it's beautiful muted colors as well. I really, really like that one, Tice. And this one was the very first one I ever got and I got it as a, a customer because I really, really liked the colors in this one. Nice and bold and bright. And I had some other bold ones, but they've all sold out. And this one is called Fusa. And I guess that's Fuchsia but it is a darker colour than bright fuchsia. Seriously soft, really gorgeous stuff. Okay, so that's this one. And you can see the effect of that fair old patterning on this one, a bit more so because it's brighter colour, a bit darker, so you can see the, the actual swatch that they've made up. But this one is called Fusa. I don't know how much quantity I've got of these. Some of them a little more than others I think. Now this is a gorgeous soft pink with some really lovely kind of contrast in pinks in there and a kind of creamy colour, sort of pinky creamy colour. Absolutely beautiful I have to say. Now this one is <laughs> upside down, no it's not, called Vicanes or I'm not sure how you pronounce the name of some of these but they are places um, it's called Fjord and these are place names um, and some of them are easier than others. Whether that's Vikings after the Vikings, I don't know. But then this one just takes my breath away because as you all know, I'm absolutely a sucker for blue. Now I did have a darker blue which had some kind of denim -y tones in it, but I think that's all gone now. It was called Sortland. I think I've got that one's all gone. I'm not sure if there's any stock left on that. I think probably not. And this one's called Tromso. Tromso. But I'm really into this colourway. Oh, I hate that word. But um, there you go. I've actually said it. So I'm not sure, as I say, what the quantity is. I've got a fair bit of this one, though, I think, because it was one of my last ones that I purchased. But um, yeah, I always get upside down wouldn't be me if it wasn't upside down but I think as well putting some of these kind of together would would look quite nice like the pastely ones especially if you had some way of um combining them they'd look really really nice they I love these two colors together as well they're really really pretty if you're making some kind of baby blanket that would look lovely they are baby soft they really are I mean obviously these are an adult kind of marketed as an adult yarn or for children where you're making a fair isle kind of sweater I'd say or a cardigan but 
you could you could make anything with it really couldn't you just stunningly beautiful and super super soft so these are my last colors and so therefore they are on special offer and uh, that won't last too long because i don't think the stock will last too long um it is lovely it's a beautiful summery yarn and gorgeous to work with so um there it is now don't forget at this precise moment in time there is still that money off voucher to help with shopping uh the code for that is just under the video along with a link to my shop and the um code to cut and paste with um so that give you like five pounds off towards shipping costs and uh that is if you um qualify for that there are other discounts that are still valid that I've been sending out to people in their orders. So don't forget if you're one of those. And plus, sometimes I pop them in an email. So even if someone has only bought a free pattern from me, then I do send out the emails. Unless people ask me to stop, then I don't. But um, I'll always send special offers and vouchers out that way. So watch out for one of those coming your way very soon. Um, because it's about time I did another one and this is my yarn of the week so let me know have you used uh, Fjord I know a fair few have bought it from me in the past that's why some of them are sold out but what did you make with it did you knit with it did you crochet with it and if you crocheted with it tell me what you made and if possible you'll find my email address um, in the drop down box and maybe send me a picture of the item that you made with it because I'd really like to see what you've crocheted with it in the past. Um, excuse me a second. <coughs> caught my, my, <laughs> that caught me there. So yeah, it's obvious, you know, you get a fair isle effect with the knitting, but I would just love to see something larger made up with crochet and see how that works out. Um, because I've only made something really small with it and worked it up to see what it looked like when it was this one when it first came out um beautiful yarn uh, but as um, i've told you in the past i'm kind of beginning to phase out king cole just a little bit so i've not made any reorders for king cole um, until i get my stock levels where i want them to be and then i'll carry a few of the lines and a few from others as well um but at the moment i'm kind of phasing them out. It's not that I'm disappointed with them or that they're poor quality because they are exceptional. Absolutely. They're one of the yarns that have been around for a very long time and I cannot fault the quality of it at all. It's just that I did actually go a bit too crazy when I first started my shop and I bought way too much King Cole. And I do need to make spaces so that I can carry other other uh, brands and other lines. So there's no other reason than that that I'm phasing them out they're certainly one of the top quality yarns and and very very um good company anyway so that is this time's yarn of the week this this week this times this week's yarn of the week well i hope you like it it is a beautiful beautiful yarn and as i say don't forget if you have used it i want to know what you made with it and if possible I want to see what you've made with it only if you can. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.